see. Ah, thank goodness you're awake, or I'll have to try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Jusia, sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. <laughs> Gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of... Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or...? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after-effects when you wake up. Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great. Let's go together. I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the form. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil. Despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show. Uh, I mean... memories? 
Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is... You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel according to your description. You stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magist- Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. every game. We've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijiu here. Where is she? just got here, but I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. 
So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use the glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. for talking. Let's go.
here too. The tacit responsibility. Be careful. Bad timing. One more time. One more time. I sense your weakness. Bad timing. together. before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! Apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. By Pangu Terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. 
these. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu, cleaving heaven and earth apart. They aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four- If I may say, Rover, you seem quite mysterious, too. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a lot. Could it be that Rover is like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people. And I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jinjo has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huanglong. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discord, with that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. 
you should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about is Rover. Now you're talking a little like Bijer, Rover. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, he was surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat... It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other breathing risks. Given our lack of data on them and your unusual physical signs, I suggest absorbing another reverberation with your terminal when we find one. That being said, please be sure to proceed cautiously. Yeah, don't go too hard on yourself. You should get a checkup. Just I'm gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero is on the hunt. Strike from the shadows. <laughs> what you did before? Hmm, maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe, maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yay, it worked! I've never seen a gourd quite... got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Huh. 
one with the sound. One with the sounds. No hesitation. One with the sounds. The hour is upon us.
Mexico City is just up ahead. <laughs> there you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. Alrighty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the anomaly. Then I'll go to the political city hall, isn't it? Then I guess I'll take being new to Jin Hospital. Then... I'll leave it. I'll send the brick. Come visit the academy after your audio. You guys done? What's the hold up? We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances. Justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero? 